Good morning, Ridge, and welcome back to Ridge Rush. I'm Navia. And I'm Elise. Here's what's happening around the Ridge and the world on September 13th, 2022. Today is Twin Day, which is why you probably can't tell me and Navia apart. Tomorrow's Spirit Week theme is Decades Day, so make sure to dress up in your favorite decade. This year's pep rally is on Thursday during 4th block, so make sure you opt in on E-Class or else you won't be able to attend. Today, our volleyball team has a region game against North Gwinnett and Discovery at 6 p.m. at Discovery. The theme is Blackout. Our softball team also has a region game against North Gwinnett at North at 6 p.m. Show up at North Gwinnett or Discovery to support our Lady Lions. In Georgia news, former Braves pitcher Anthony Var Varvaro, who retired to become a police officer in 2016, was killed in a car accident at the young age of 37. He was in a fatal car crash on his way to work, which was at a 9-11 memorial center in, Man in Manhattan. Barbaro played for six years and was, quote, everything you could want out of a ball player and everything you could want out of a person, end quote. Mike Hampton, Barbaro's ex-coach, says, his wake will be held today and we can only mourn the loss of him and his amazing talent he brought to our <laughs> very own Atlanta Braves. New York has officially declared a state of emergency over polio. Polio is a paraly paralytic disease <laughs> which has affected millions across the world. Recently, New York's wastewater has started showing positive signs of polio virus. The United States was declared polio-free in 1979 due to vaccinations, but since it is so uncommon to get an, it now, vaccination counts are low in New York. The state health department plans on bringing the vaccination rates up by almost 11 percent. Health Commissioner Dr. Mary Bassett says that, quote, for every one case of par paralytic polio observed, there may be a hundred of other people infected, end quote. This is the third time New York has called a state of emergency this year, along with coronavirus and monkeypox. It may be 6 billion degrees in the school, but outside it's sunny with a low of 55 and a high of 81. That's all we have for you today, Ridge. <laughs> have a twinning Tuesday. And go, go Lions! Lions!